Hello, I hope you're doing wonderful and had a lovely Thanksgiving. We did, and uh, for all of those who are at war with celebrating Christmas before Thanksgiving, you're now liberated. You can indulge the next holiday. All of you OCD people who like to do it all in order, I'm just like, yeah, it's holidays. Let's party. Let's put it all up there. When the momentum's going, when the excitement is there, the kids are getting out of school, they want to help decorate, they want to make it happen. That, to me, is a transition into the holiday season. And if it comes a couple of days before Thanksgiving, whoop-de-doo, you know, big deal. It's okay. Just breathe a little. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, but I decided that it's okay if you want to be that way. If you'll let me be my way, I'll let you be your way. And then we can all be happy, okay? Anyway, so, uh, that being said, everything is going well. Everything's moving forward in the Christmas department. We're racing towards it. But, you know, as we were moving into our new sanctuary this weekend, which, I mean, it's like by the hair of our chinny chin chin, which I'm not sure how I feel about that expression because that that's like... I understand it means barely there because it's real little hair, but I don't want to think about any hairs being on my chin. <laughs> anyway, maybe there's like a mole and you have a hair and that's what we're talking about, but <laughs> maybe the, it's about men and the hair of their chin, chin, chin. Anyway, we got in there by the skin of our teeth. Again, another kind of disgusting <laughs> phrase. Um, anyway, by the skin of your teeth. That's very thin as well. So we got in the sanctuary, um, barely. How about that? And, um, you know, no functioning sound system, no lyrics, no overhead. But, you know, the Spirit of God was there, and it was a beautiful moment to consecrate that place of worship. But it got me to thinking about, you know, people like to walk into completed um, things, completed scenarios and, and landscape, and say, oh, wow, this is so beautiful. I love this. This is awesome. But if you could just play that whole scene in reverse and see all of the work all of the sweat, all of the time, the effort, the sacrifice, the money that people gave. Um, you know, it, it, it's built layer upon layer, moment by moment, one nail at a time, one piece of sheetrock at a time. And uh, it, it takes work behind the scenes to make everything appear beautiful. Nobody just waves a magic wand. That is fairy tale. You don't just magically have a beautiful church or, you know, um, it just doesn't happen. You don't just put on a program. Everybody likes to show up, sit down, and enjoy. But it's the behind the scenes that really makes it happen. And I'm afraid that so many people want to fast forward past all that and just give me the finished product. And they forget that there's a whole lot of sacrifice and investing that goes on behind the scenes. That's why it's so important that you show up to your practices, that you do your homework, so to speak, that you come to the work nights, that you give when we have pledges, that you buy the peanut brittle when it's for sale, because it takes all of these things to, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. You ever heard that said? It is so true. And, you know, we have a lot of skimmers. They just want to come in and, oh, it's so beautiful. I go to an awesome church. It's so beautiful. Yeah, well, where were you? <laughs> You know, well, you know, it's okay. It's for you. We want you to come. But I'm just saying there needs to be a level of appreciation behind the scenes. And that's why, you know, sometimes practices or, you know, behind the scenes stuff, even the um, people come in and they want to feel the glory of God in your services. Well, you know, that's that's not an automatic thing. There's people that are fasting and praying and, and carrying the burden of a daily sacrifice and making their temples um, a living sacrifice, you know, a lot of the things that we do in our lifestyle, we suppress the things of the flesh and we do away with things. We abstain from things so that we can set ourselves apart and we're consecrated and God will honor that and meet with us. And it creates just such a beautiful glory and an anointing that comes. And there's not a whole lot of ways. There's not any ways to shortcut that. You know, when people come in who don't know any better and we have already provided, done the behind the scenes sacrifice, and there is a beautiful feast for them to come and take part of, that is the will of God. You know, it's not the will of God that the people who know better, who come in and just keep skimming off the top of everybody else's prayer and sacrifice, um, you know, at some point you need to join in and help provide that place for someone else. So um, I'm not really sure what my overall point is other than go beyond the surface level and become a part of the tapestry, the seam work, seam work, the 
yeah, the part of the, the sewing together, if you will, of whatever is coming together in your life. If it's at your church, if it's a um, some program they're working on, if it's a building program, if it's a music program, if it's just um, praying and fasting, you know, you don't magically have just a wonderful children's program. Somebody's in there with a vision. Someone's in there studying. Someone's in there decorating. Someone's in there doing the behind the scenes. And that is where the true beauty happens. So I just want to give my... I'm not going to take my hat off because my hair would look bad. <laughs> but my hat's off to all you behind the scenes people that make it happen for the rest of us who just walk in and are like, wow, this is amazing. You know, we went to um, the resort in Grapevine, the Gaylord Texan, and it looked amazing. You know, that was for us to enjoy. It was like a present to us. Of course, we paid for the present. But, you know, somebody worked really hard to make that happen. Someone imagined that. So be a part of a team, something greater than yourself, so that you can present um, something worthwhile to somebody else, but it takes the behind the scenes. Don't get frustrated and all oh, burn out. It's so hard. No, it takes that. You have to do the hard part. You have to do the hard part. You've got to be disciplined and make it happen behind the scenes if you want to be excellent when the curtain rolls back and the spotlight shines, you better be ready. That's all. Be ready. Do the work. Don't skim. No skimmers. No skimmers. Well, some people can be skimmers, but not you. You know better. Put your talents to good work and stop being selfish.